perhaps Bruno can uh, say something about his experience. Myself, I think that, and that was uh, the main motivation uh, factor. I feel that it's very hard to be a young artist in Brazil, either a designer or a contemporary artist, such as a painter, a photographer, an architect as well, because first we have, uh, let's say, the education is not that excellent one, or the one that we think it's really excellent. And then they leave university and they, they have to start doing, let's say, something and, and starting a career. So opportunities are very few. Uh, I see that competition is growing day by day. So uh, to start a new thing as and when you are young, so I think it's really very hard. So, and this is something that I, I myself I felt. I don't want to be uh, a universe, but I want to at least once a year try to, you know, put people together, share experiences, and also, you know, knowledge and so on during six, six uh, five, six days of event. I think the biggest challenge is that uh, we don't have uh, a lot of opportunities after we leave school. So we, for example, we don't have galleries, design galleries, or and the stores. Most of them are for international products. So I think the the main challenge is to uh, create this relation, relationship with uh, stores and all that to create uh, partners and create consumers. I think the, the the biggest challenge is to create this 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 interest in your piece without having uh, opportunity to show it properly. So you, it's not just about the creation, but you have also to create a, a system for your practice. So it's, that's the main, the main challenge of a, a young designer. I think it's just cultural. It's some, uh, we have to create this with, with shows like this. We can create the interest of Brazilians in, in our own design. I think the, the, the the creators are there, we just need the, the market to follow this. I think there's one thing that changed uh, for my generation when I started. Uh, the industries in Brazil were not interested at all in design. They were all um, copying uh, foreign products. And I think that's something that really changed about um, you know, in 10 years. You have industries in the south of Brazil that, that, are, that produce, that export, and that are really very professional with excellent machines and in tools so I think this is a reality that changed completely and I think uh, a little bit different than you it, ge it gives much more opportunities to designers so you have um, people uh, who make uh, silverware uh, um, industries that are that that are open now to 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 design even even if uh, they hire the designers just to uh, make, a make a brand to uh, to develop certain um, uh, products that they are not exactly going to be the best sellers, but it's something that uh, cr gives another status to the industry that hires the designers. So I think that's changed. The the, the idea of design is important. I think that we are starting to brand the country. Uh, Brazilians have this marketing prob uh, problem. I mean, we have good coffee, we have good design, but I think that the country uh, itself is not uh, that very good marketing oriented, uh, let's say, exact. They are all cliches. They are all cliches. This is something that it's been, you know, the, the, over the years. But for example, I remember that Colombia produces good coffee, but not as good as Brazilian. But you see, Colombia coffee is worldwide known as the best one in the world. So I think that now Brazil is starting to pay attention to this the marketing, let's say, tools, and, and designers, especially fashion designers, they are proud of having this Made in Brazil uh, production and furniture, and as Claudia said, the industry itself, I mean, the furniture industry is also, you know, uh, daring to hire designers to have specific collections. So I think it's something that not yet 100% done, but uh, on the way to people in Brazil are happy 
from beginning from from when they are born i think that instead of giving the the two little uh tap i mean doctor said instead of crying the baby starts to laugh because it's natural it's completely different from other countries in south america our neighbors they have kinds of moods completely different from Brazil. So it's true that in, in, in every type of, let's say, uh, a creati creative process, you find this sense of humor, you find this uh, happiness, and, and, and I think that if you can, let's say, say something about it, I would say that, yes, probably they have this day-by-day -day happiness that they try to, to use in a good way. I'm very mischievous about these labels that <laughs> people usually put, so I think we have this uh, um, kind of obligation of, of, of being happy, of being funny, and I think, yes, we can be, and sometimes uh, we happen to be, but it's, it's uh, I, I think, a product, a design, it's, it's uh, it it has to be an intelligent, uh, 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 responsible uh, answer to, to a need, basically it's that. If you can put some humor in it, fantastic. But I think basically, and I think the, we, we shouldn't stick to this, to this uh, necessity of, of making show pieces, loud pieces, smiley pieces. So I think we should uh, be competent and um, understanding what the need is. Happiness goes together with spontaneity. So I feel that this, you know, uh, you don't have strict rules, you know, the, as Claudia said. I mean, you don't need to be happy, but you also, you, you know, you can have some kind of happiness either in the process or whatever, because they are free. In terms of, we don't have a Brazilian school of design or a Brazilian school of whatever. The future is to arrive in Brazil the end of April when we install here and start preparing the third edition, which is in August. And she has a huge responsibility because now she is a board member. She's in our advisory board. So we uh, we have a lot of work <laughs> till August. So this is in my case, I don't know their years, but in my case, I have to start, you know, preparing everything because Milan was a priority and now we have August. And they have also exhibition. She is going to have an exhibition of a nice uh, lamp series collection that she's launching in September and Bruno also. So we have other uh, group uh, works I and mean, so lots of things that go together with MADE.